welcome back to Millie Cockapoo. If you saw last week's video, then you will know it was Millie's first birthday. And like the crazy dog mum I am, I had to get her some birthday presents. <laughs> Now as a little disclaimer before we get into the video, some of you may think this is over the top, others may not. I personally don't think it's too bad. Most of the stuff in here she will either eat or play with and she goes through toys so quickly it kind of just makes sense to get ones for her birthday. And then the accessories I will be able to use either over time or again next year when it's a birthday because they're, they're not labelled up for a first birthday or anything and the same for like a decoration and stuff like that. I've purchased everything that's featured in this video myself other than two items which were kindly gifted by one of the companies that I bought Millie's toys from because we work with them over on Instagram and I will let you know which items they are when I get to them. Every item that I'm mentioning in this video has been purchased from a small business and I will link them all down below and a couple of the companies I have discount codes for so I will put those next to the links. This video isn't sponsored by them or anything like that. So first up is a bandana and I have to put them on Millie backwards other than for pictures because she chews them and also I think they look better on the, the dog backwards because then you can actually see them when you're on a walk. So this is it, it's got like little sprinkles on it and I believe it's the Sprinkle Birthday Banner and it's from Teddington Freds which is a company that we work with on Instagram, we're a model for them. So that's it from the front, so it's white with a couple of sprinkles on it. Gonna do your modelling thing, yeah. If you're wondering why Millie's fur is so short, it's because she went for a groom and I asked them to cut it very short because <laughs> we're going on holiday soon and I want to see where she and I want to see if she gets any ticks and where they might be and also so that she's low maintenance while we're away. So yeah so now she, her fur is extremely short. Also from Teddington Fred I got the bow in the same pattern so in the birthday sprinkles and what I like about Teddington Fred's bows is that they're really high quality they feel well made and you get to choose how you want the attachment to be. So you can either go for a double elastic like this, so you thread the collar through it, or you can go through a Velcro strap down the back that you wrap around the collar. It's completely up to you when you order them. So, yeah, so both the bandana and the bow. And even though these are called birthday sprinkles, you can pretty much wear these all year round. The next accessory I got is from Made by Mabel and it's this sailor bow that says birthday girl on it. So unlike the Tendon Fred one, this one you don't get to choose the attachments which is the velcro onto the collar. This one comes as a standard size, so you don't get to choose how big you want it to be but it's a good size. I'd say it's about a size large compared to other bows. The Tendon Fred one is a medium to give you an idea of sizing. The next couple of items are from a new business that I've just launched called Cute Pooch. And it's a couple of harnesses for Millie. So I love her in different harnesses. And to be honest with you, there's always a couple in the wash. So I think you're better off having a few. And now that she's fully grown, I don't think she can have too many because she's not gonna outgrow them. If you're wondering, Millie's an extra small on these harnesses and we went for their Nearly the elephant print and the no problem llama or no llama drama print. So both very cute prints and the teal is something new. Normally I stick to Millie in either girly colours or black and white or grey so it goes over equa fleece. So I thought I would go for something a bit different. The next item is a decoration from Party Raccoon and it is a customisable bunting. So you get to submit pictures of your dog and then they add the little party hats to the six faces of Millie and I submitted three different pictures so it's recurring and I've got her at all different stages of her hair growth and I've got her at all different stages of her hair and I just think these are cute and we can use these every year as well. 
And they're cute for Instagram moment, let's face it. And I think if you really want to do, you could buy this with a human face, a cat face, a hamster face. Doesn't necessarily have to be a dog. Yes, this is you, Millie. And next on to the items that Millie will actually enjoy. And I ordered these from Brown Nose Box, who specialise in gift boxes for dogs and cats. So I got two of their boxes for Millie and they kindly gifted us a couple of items. So the first was this little party hat that you would have seen her wearing in last week's video. And then some peanut butter flavoured bubbles. She might not be a big fan of the hat, but I think she looks funny and cute in it and a bit like the Mad Hatter. But the bubbles, she will love. So thank you Brown Nose Box for kindly gifting us these items. Moving on to the things that I bought from Brown Nose Box. The first was one of their birthday boxes. So it comes wrapped like this. And included in this box is a party time bunting. A bottle of champagne and it's a toy. So I thought this would be cute for pictures. And then also I'm really going to play with it afterwards. A toy that's like a weighted balloon. It's a rope and sprinkles. You can't have this yet, Millie, no. No, we can't in a minute. And then a toy that's like a kazoo. Is that what they're called? And then it unfolds. So it's a nice gift box for you to get your dog and get some cute pictures with and then obviously they'll play with them. Or if you have got any dogs in your family that you're going to get them a gift for, it's a good box to get. The next item is also from Brown Nose Box and I bought this as a separate toy because they do sell individual toys as well. And it is a bottle of beer. So again, it was mainly for pictures. It might be a reoccurring theme here. The toys I tend to get Millie now are anything that will look cute for a picture so it's got a dual purpose. Then the next box that I bought was their adventure box or their travel adventure box. I can't remember the name of it but I will link it down below. And included in this is a little suitcase toy. <laughs> yes, it. A passport. And the camera. So I thought these would make some really cute pictures for when we go on holiday. So I'll take these with me then. But yeah, a little camera, suitcase and a passport. Now on to the last couple of items and these are both food related. So I'm dreading getting these out because Millie's already gone crazy as you just saw for the toys. I don't know what she's going to be like when I get out of these, but wish me luck. So first is some biscuits from Kiki Paws. That's how you say it. And these are all, I don't know if I'm going to be able, all homemade treats for her birthday. But included, there are things like a little crown, bone that says happy birthday, a little party hat. So cute little birthday themed biscuits for her. And I know Millie will love these. I can't tell she's down here sniffing. And last but not least is Millie's birthday cake. I got this from the Posh Pet Kitchen, another brand on Instagram. I think these are actually all brands that I've discovered on Instagram. And I went for the banana and peanut butter flavour cake. So it's quite small and I requested that they put a pink bow on it for Millie. I think it's standard, it comes with like a blue teal. And then it's got the bones around the side and then it says Millie first birthday on focus go i think i went for the mini one i will leave link below the exact one i bought but this is like the perfect size really for millie it'll last her a few days and the only thing i advise if you're ordering any baked goods that are homemade for your dog for the birthday is to order them a couple of months in advance because they schedule them to go out for when it's your dog's birthday and they do get quite busy. So I ordered Millie's cake in about April time and it was only accepting orders for after the end of May. So definitely, definitely order your cakes and baked goods if you're ordering them from small businesses sooner rather than later. And that's everything that I got Millie. As I mentioned at the beginning, most of it she will use, either play with, eat or wear, not just for her birthday or we'll be able to use them 
on multiple occasions. Please let me know in the comments down below if you're a crazy dog mum like me and you get your dog birthday presents. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to like it and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you won't miss a video from us and follow us over on Instagram at Millie Cockapoo for daily updates and we will see you next week. Bye! Leave it. And <coughs> Millie, quiet. Go away. Go away. So, so Millie, no way. It's Millie's birthday cake. Millie, you better not have broken your biscuit. <laughs> the only thing I advise is if you're ordering a birthday. Oh, really? Oh my god, Millie, 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 let's put it on the side, let's put it on the side, let's put it on the side.